Let me also now bring in our guest. We have political analyst Varun Singh. We also have a Muslim scholar, Molana Masood Kazmi. Good to have both of you on the broadcast with us. Molana ji, let me begin with you first. And I want to talk to you specifically what's playing out in Assam. Just in the last one week, there have been three madrasas that have been bulldozed because of concrete evidence that has been found as to what was happening in those madrasas. Some were giving shelter to people who were associated with terror organizations like the Al-Qaeda subcontinent or Anar Sul Bangla and others. Logistical support was also being given. So if there is enough evidence to prove that these madrasas are not being used to impart education but for jihadi or terror activities, why shouldn't they be bulldozed abroad now? Yes, the point is, if anybody is caught, uh, is caught in anti-national activities or in terrorism, her uh, action should be taken against him or her, irrespective of religion, caste, and creed. But the uh, communal response to the terror is not wise, I think. Yes, educational institution, you are raising the educational institution, what be, what be the fate of these students? Look, on March 10, 2017, Devendra Gupta and Sunil Joshi of RSA convicted by the court in Ajmer Bilas case. Are you suggesting that the entire entire RSS organization is terror organization? But Molana ji, this, is, this is a very bad comparison. I'll tell you why. Because today no, the chief no, minister... Not. One second, Molana ji, one second. Because today Please. the chief minister... Himanti Biswa Sarma, he's clarified that this optics that is being seen as we're targeting madrasas randomly, it's not happening like that. It's only when there is enough evidence, those establishments are being targeted. And as you were speaking about imparting education, this is exactly what I'm saying. This is where we're confusing both. If there is no, no, no education that is being provided, but the no, no, teachers of the madrasas or the imams themselves are getting involved in terror activities, which is being proven with evidence on the ground, why shouldn't they be targeted? No, no, no. You are. You, that my point is communal response to the terror is not is not by by step. If any imam arrest them, give her harshest punishment punishment to him. But why are you raising the institutional edu educational institution? अभी हमारे दे मध्य प्रदेश में कई लोग और रूलिंग पार्टी के कई लोग वर कोर्ट स्पाइन फॉर पाकिस्तान तो आर यू सजेस्टिंग दैट रूलिंग पार्टी इज आल्स टू आल शुड बी बैन सर एक तो चीज मैं तो कुछ सजेस्ट नहीं कर रही हूं मैं तो सिर्फ आपसे एक सिंपल सवाल पूछ रही थी अगर एविडेंस मिला है कि देयर इज इन्वॉल्वमेंट इन टेरर एक्टिविटीज और जिहादी एक्टिविटीज व्हाई शुड दैट एस्टैब्लिशमेंट बी ब्रॉट डाउन बट आई जस्ट रिक्वेस्ट यू टू स्टे ऑन विद अस आई रिक्वेस्ट वरुण आल्सो to stay on with us, I quickly want to take in a word from my colleague Preeti, who in fact has been tracking these developments for us. Preeti, well, yes, on one side, political war of words has ensued with the likes of MIM and AIUDF saying this is a deliberate uh, targeting of the Muslim community. The chief minister is saying it's not happening randomly, it's happening when there is enough evidence. Talk to us about the reactions that you're picking up as far as the AIUDF is concerned. I believe they want to now approach the Supreme Court as well. Yes, uh, recently, just a um, few minutes ago, we tried to talk with AIUDF Chief Badruddin Azmal and he has uh, stated that they do not have any problem with uh, jihadis. They just uh, want them to get proper punishment as per law, but they definitely have uh, some uh, uh, serious problems with the madrasas being demolished and he has stated that uh, they, he will go until the Supreme Court and he has also assured his people today while speaking to them that such kind of things will not be accepted and the minor Minority community uh, now have also come up saying that if such kind of madrasa demolishments continue, then they will come out for a mass protest. But I again have to talk to you about the local reactions. The people here, the uh, the locals here, have also stated that they have they do not have any kind of uh, problem with Hafizur as this this madrasa has serious links with Hafizur. So they want uh, Hafizur to get proper kind of punishments as per law. But they are not really happy with the. Uh, 
madrasa being brought down they are very angry as we could have we have seen but yes uh, again as we are talking about the political reactions the reactions of the locals we also must have to talk about uh, the police reactions because the, the gualpara sp has also stated that uh, a lot of evidences have been actually found from this madrasa the madrasa in uh, uh, the moirabari madrasa and also uh, the barpeta sp has uh, stated that a lot of evidences have been found in these madrasas uh, relating to the terror organizations which is okay we seem to have lost that connection with my colleague uh, Preeti, who in fact was helping us understand the multiple political reactions that we are seeing as well with the likes of AIUDF saying that they want to approach the Supreme Court as far as demolition of Mother Saz are concerned. But I want to continue.